WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update. We've got a sea of red out there, the exception being the healthcare sector, the XLV, which is up 134 points. Probably not uh, probably not being hurt by Eli Lilly Company. It's up 78 bucks, a 17% move there. That's a big move for that stock. But right now, we've got the Dow off 412 points, a little over 1%. Over 1% for the S&P, or 51 points. One and six tenths for the NASDAQ 100, 248 point move there. One and five tenths for the Russell. 31 points. The semis are down 104 3%. You've got gold trading down at 1961. That's off eight bucks. Silver's down 37 cents at 81.33. Natural gas is trying to take out resistance. That's the top of its daily profile, trading on 277. And the 30 year treasury up one point and eight ticks, printing at 122.26. It's also targeting the top of its profile. But let's go look at that nine panel. Market update chart, we begin with the ES Mini upper left-hand corner. We've got a new profile that is attempting to form. This has shifted several times. I expect it will continue to shift right now. The buyers, the supposed buyers, are lined up at the 4497 area. We're trading at 4484. Now, I would say uh, a lower close today, uh, short of a new profile, daily profile forming price should target the weekly bullish structured area of its profile. It's between 4377 and 4434. Spot volatility is traded above yesterday's high, so that's bullish for it. That's bad for the S&P 500. The NQ likely targeting the bottom of its weekly profile, and that's at the 14,865 area. The U.S. dollar index has run into resistance. That's both the top of its daily profile as well as its sell the D point pattern. 102.65 is where the U.S. dollar needs to close above in order to be on its merry way to the upside. Gold testing its TD9 count breakout area, testing its uh, prior swing point from back on June the... 29th, June 29th out there. So, so far we've got a test and in essence a rejection of that area. You do have silver, which is testing its swing point. Its swing point was June 23rd, and that's at 22.99. Now, if price closes inside there, even if it's with light volume, we still run the risk of price testing the 22.34 area. But a close back above 22.90, 22.90 today, and I'd say a close above 19.59.40 would actually be somewhat slightly bullish, if you will, for the metals. If we take a look at Light Sweet Crude, yesterday generating a dark cloud cover candle, that confirmed a Rhodes Momentum Indicator top, a sell the D-point top out there. The price is still holding support. So Light Sweet Crude is neutral. Why? Because it's trading above 81.23. That's the top of its daily profile. Natural gas trying to take out 275. If it does that, we could be seeing a change of trend. And the 30-year Treasury, she'd like to target 125, even Stephen. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show. But if you have to start your Tuesday, please have a terrific one. Thanks for joining us. We'll, we'll, we'll speak again soon. The reality.